So subprograms, any program which is more than five or 10 lines long should be using subprograms because they make your life so much easier as a developer and, and it will make your code much more reliable and easier to test as well. Let's just cover identifying them because they come in two different flavors. They're either functions or procedures and it is kind of easy to tell the difference between the two. Functions return values, procedures don't return values. Now, if you're not sure what that means, don't worry, I'll go on to explain it, but basically the easy version is you're looking for that word return. If you see the, term, the word return in it, it's a function. If not, it's a procedure. Okay, so let's cover uh, this example here on the right-hand side. Any moment that you, anytime you see code which has been copied and pasted like you've got here, so it's been copied and pasted three times, it's immediately a fantastic candidate to put into either a procedure or a function. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna return this into a procedure. Um, but let's go over the problems with copying and pasting code like this. Let's say here, uh, the purpose of this program is to get a number, add five to it, and uh, and then it outputs a value, okay? And it does that three times, which is fine. What if a decision should be made that instead of adding five to that number, I need to add three to that number? Okay, I'll go in and do it. And okay, this is only three times, so you're less likely to make a mistake. But imagine if you somebody copied and pasted this code 10 or 20 times, I change it twice there, and I forget to introduce it, a change, make the change there. That's really common. If we have code which is copied and pasted, having inconsistencies all over the place is a big issue. Also, just because you've got more code, more lines of code to worry about, you're introducing more opportunities to, to, put, more uh, to put bugs into it. And it's harder to maintain. It's just longer to have to scroll through and have a look at. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn it into a procedure. I'm gonna get rid of this code here because um, we don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna show you how to do a, uh, a procedure in Python. So in Python, I use the word def, um, but I'll go over how to do that in pseudocode at the moment, uh, in a moment, and then I'm going to do adder. Uh, adder is the name I've given to this function. It could be called anything. You could call this cheese if you wanted to, but I'm just going to call this adder because it just sort of adds something uh, to a value. And then pair of brackets, pair of brackets are really important. And then because I'm Python, it's be a colon afterwards and I need to indent uh, my code into the function as well because it's Python. All right. Now, what's going to happen when I hit run? And it might surprise you here. If I, when I hit run, absolutely nothing happens, all right? Because any code within a function or a procedure is ignored by the programming language until you call it. And you call it just by giving the name of the function or procedure and then putting brackets after it. And it turns out that you've been using these all along. So print, int, input, they are all functions. So you should be a dab hand at using this. You just give the name of a particular function you want uh, and then brackets. And then inside the brackets, you might have a parameter, which we'll come into in a moment. So if I run this now, it'll run the code within adder once. So let's just do this. So enter a number five, five plus five is 10. That's the output I got. If I copy and paste just the word adder instead of all those lines of code, then it will do it two or three times. And obviously you can see how easy it would be uh, to repeat that if I needed to, okay? So that just shows you a quick sort of uh, a preview of why these things are so useful. Well, let's just summarize some of the benefits there. So subprograms allow you to reuse code and that's gonna make it faster for you to be able to develop your program. And that's for a couple of reasons really. Yes, instead of copying and pasting code all over the place, you just need to give the name of function and that's faster. But let's say um, maybe a, a week from now, I need to develop a similar program um, that needs to add a value to a number. I can just take this function that I've done previously, this procedure that I've done previously and bring it into my new program. So it really does speed up development massively. And because you're dealing with a few lines of code, it means now there's less opportunity to introduce bugs into your program. Okay, so that's a, that's a couple of advantages straight away. But it also lets you uh, break up your code sort of logically. So if you imagine that this program got developed on a little bit more and I've got uh, a function for adding, I've got a function for subtracting, which is very similar, and then one which is multiplying all or multiplying or swing a value um, that, I've in, that I'm asking the user to enter. I can now very clearly assign a little bit of code into a function, say this is what this is supposed to do. And that makes it much easier to test and much easier to read, which makes it maintainable. You know, my adder function is only meant to add, so I can just, I can run a test table of all the different types of test data within that and just run it on that function. If you are doing this in pseudocode, um, then you're not using the word def, you are using a different sort of keyword. So if you are using a procedure, shockingly enough, you write the word procedure and then the name of your procedure. So let's just say in this example, it's subtractor. Any parameters you want to use is them are then put in brackets and then you're away. Any code will go in 
in here and then when you want the procedure to finish you do end procedure okay functions are very very similar except instead of the word procedure obviously you use the word function and obviously the key thing is somewhere here in this code you'll need the word return because you're returning a value which will be saved to a variable and that's your introduction to subprograms if you found that video useful please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here